In this video demonstration, I'll show how to extract company data from a typical Yellow Pages website. First, I'll enter the start URL in the Visual Web Ripper address bar and load the website. I will search for all hotels in the state of Victoria. To do this, I need to configure a data extraction project that can submit the search form and then extract data from the search result. To configure a project to submit a web form, I need to add form field content elements for each form field and a form submit template for the form submit button. I'll enter the input value for the form field in the capture window. Visual Web Ripper will submit the web form once for each input value I enter in the capture window but this time I'll only search for hotels, so I'll just enter one value. Visual Web Ripper automatically saves form field input values to data output. If you don't want to save the input values, you can reset the Save Content option. I now need to add the form submit template, so I select the template tab and click on the submit button. A JavaScript message box may sometimes appear when you click on elements in the web browser, but you can often just ignore those messages. When I open the form submit template, the web form is submitted and the search result is loaded. I'll use a page area template to extract data from all the hotels listed in the search result. A page area template is used to define areas on a web page. And in this case, the page area template will define the area of each hotel in the search result. First, I select one hotel in the search result, and then I use the list options to repeat the selection. I can verify the number of selected HTML elements in the capture window to make sure the page area template selects all the hotels in the search result. I will extract the hotel names, so I select the first hotel name in the web browser. All the hotel names will automatically get selected when I click on the first hotel name in the list. This is because I'm selecting an HTML element within a page area template that is already defined as a list. I want to extract some hotel information that is only available on the hotel detail pages so I need to add a link template that can navigate to the detail pages. I've selected the hotel detail link in the web browser, but I can see in the capture window that I have not selected a link, but instead selected the inner text element of the link. In this case, I can simply expand the selection in order to get the link I'm after. The data extraction project will navigate to a hotel detail page every time it opens the link template and it will then have to navigate back to the hotel list after it has extracted data from a detail page. I will configure the project to use a new web browser for the hotel detail pages so the project doesn't have to navigate back to the hotel list every time it has processed a detail page. This increases the performance of the data extraction project. I will extract the hotel ratings from this page. The hotels have different properties listed in this table, and for some hotels, the first property may not be the hotel rating. 
I want to make sure I always extract the hotel rating no matter where it is located in the table. And I want to extract an empty value if a hotel has not listed a rating. I can accomplish this by using a text filter. I have now configured the project to extract hotel data for one page in the search result, but I want to extract data from all pages in the search result. I do this by adding a page navigation template. A page navigation template repeats the parent template for each page navigation link. I want to repeat the page area template for each page navigation link, so I need to add the page navigation template next to the page area template. There are many ways to configure a page navigation template. But the easiest way is to configure the template to click on a next page link. I will open the page navigation template to ensure the template does indeed open the next page in the search result. I've now finished configuring the data extraction project and I'm ready to run it. But first I want to change the data output format. Visual Web Ripper saves extracted data in multiple data tables by default. But in this case, I'm saving output to Excel and it's more appropriate to have all data saved in a single Excel worksheet. I can accomplish this by setting the option Denomalize Data. I will now run the project. I will turn on debugging and also view the web browser while extracting data, so it's easy to see if the project runs as expected. You can now see how Visual Web Ripper extracts data from the website. Visual Web Ripper uses two web browsers because I have configured the project to use a separate web browser for the hotel detail pages. I'll stop the data extraction now and take a look at the data I've extracted so far. All the extracted data is stored in a single data table because I used the output option Denomalize Data. In this video, I've shown how to deal with a simple web scraping scenario. I've only extracted data for hotels in a single state but you could easily extend the solution so it extracts data for all company types listed in a CSV file or a database table. You can also run the project from a custom application and let your application provide the company type as an input parameter to project. The Visual Web Ripper manual contains more information about all the web scraping techniques demonstrated in this video.